Hello Wales, I hope you're having a wonderful day and you've been, had a really good morning so far today. Our chapter from Otterline at Sea today is called Chapter 8. So, Chapter 8. Otterline opened her eyes and looked out of the cabin window. The seaplane was bobbing about in the water next to a rocky island with a small wood on it. I'm not going to show you the wood, but I'm going to show you what a line. Two green-nosed trolls came out from the trees. I'm George and this is Ringo, said the first green-nosed troll. I'm Ringo and this is George, said the second. Not how I would expect a troll to look, personally. Ooh. The many flange bolt needs reflanging, said Minty, getting out her toolbox. And the spatch lock needs unspatching. This might take some time. Stay as long as you like, said George. This is a very small Norwegian wood. And we don't get many visitors, said Ringo. Come inside for breakfast. We're having pancakes and herring. We get to see Minty and the bear. And also, we get to see inside. There he is. Inside, and that's under the wood. Otterline's notebook. So we have some pictures. One is of Ringo, one is of George, but it might be the other way around. They have green noses and they are green nosed trolls. They're very good at one, cloud watching, two, skimming stones, three, fishing for herrings. They're very bad at one, cooking herrings, two, making pancakes. And there's a picture of a herring at the bottom as well. There they are. Oh, I don't want to show you the other one yet. And the other picture is of quite Bigfoot. One, eight foot tall. Two, claws like toasting forks. Three, eyes like headlamps. Four, tangly hair. Five, snaggly teeth. Six, terrifying. And there he is. Ooh, there he is. And there they all are. Later that afternoon, while Minty worked on the seaplane, the bear did some laundry and the green-nosed troll skimmed stones. Otterline sat on a rock by the shore with her notebook. she just finished drawing a sketch of quite Bigfoot when she looked up and saw a raft approaching. It looked very familiar. There's Otterline. And there is the raft. Thor Thorinson, the famous explorer, she exclaimed excitedly. The Whistles of the Wild, Tales of Animal Hitchhiking is my favourite book. Why, thank you, said Thor Thorinson, as he guided his Polynesian raft, the Conleaky, to Interland. There he is. Hello there, Thor. I've got my voices muddled up, sorry. Hello there, Thor, said Minty Woodvine, joining them on the shore. She just re she just reflanged the flange bolt and was taking a break before unspatching the spatchlock. Otterline and her assistant here are travelling to Norway. Can you give them a lift? she asked. Certainly, said Thor, looking at Otterline's amateur roving collector's pass. All aboard. My best friend, Mr. Munro, has gone missing, Otterline explained to Thor. He's small and hairy and comes from a bog in Norway. Thor Thorinson stroked his yellow beard thoughtfully. I think I might be able to help, he said with a smile. We get to have a closer look at the boat, the Conleaky. So there is a rudder 
There are stores, there's a llama, wool, blanket, an explorer's hat, notebook, pot and pan, and a hurricane lamp. And that, I forgot, yeah, that's the end of our chapter for today. So have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Stay safe.